Apparently my live stream is off. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Does, is my internet still around? My internet's still here. Hmm. Let's do a quick speed test and see if strange settings. Hello, hello. I'm having some technical difficulties. Uh, I think I went off stream for a bit there. I think my live stream ended and I, I think I've started another one. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on with YouTube just now, or maybe it's my internet. I'm not actually sure. Um, hello, Serena. Hello. I think I'm back live. Um, I'll keep an eye on that. Seems like my, uh, maybe it's my internet connection that's, that's low, but yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. Um, so, what was I doing? Um, yeah, trying to get Propeteer to work. Um, so I'm just looking for an example here that I've had before. Um, and then I can copy and paste some stuff, which is always better than actually coding. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So let me find that. Here we go. So. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. Perfect, yeah. So what I wanna do is I do wanna start Puppeteer launch. It's gonna be slightly different, but I wanna do Headless as well. Headless, uh, but headless is going to be true. So I'm just going to do that for the sake of testing. I still want to create the new page. That's absolutely fine. Now I want to go to page. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, page dot go to. Let's find. Do the do. A YouTube video from Harry Mack, and we'll just go to that one. Dun, 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 dun. So let's go to, I guess it doesn't really matter which one. So let's copy this link. So we want to go to this link, oops, uh, and we're going to add in this little wait until. So we're gonna basically wait until everything's loaded. So that should do that. And then, yeah, that should be that should be that first. So what we wanna do is we basically just want to uh, page.evaluate uh, handler or evaluate the handle. And we wanna copy in, ooh, do I still have it? The documents, uh, so, Property has some nice APIs, etc., to, to, to use uh, this for Java. Um, but for some things, it's just I find it sometimes a bit easier to just use evaluate handle, and then that way you can just copy and paste uh, something that you've done on the browser. Um, I think I think I may have lost. Yeah, that's fine. Um, anyways, what it was document. Do I still have it on the paste? No. Okay, so what it was. I think we can doesn't quite seem to be playing nice, but we'll figure that out in a moment. So what I can do is, um, I've got access to the document here, query selector all. And what we said was we're gonna take all A tags and uh, buttons, array dot from. And actually, if I just do a console log here, let's just make sure that things are working before we actually uh, move on, because too many squiggly lines here for my liking. Here. 
let's remove these guys and let's just do um, nodes as it's my main functions node scrape ah, so let me do a yarn add puppeteer I think I added it to the wrong package I think that's probably the issue there so let me try and if I actually I can just right click and run this here let's try that what's going on here so let's see package JSON have I added puppeteer 001 that does not look right from oops puppeteer have I just been misspelling puppeteer which also sounds about right Ah, of course, I'm probably misspelling puppeteer. Let's do try this again. Spell it correctly. Yeah, so it should take a bit longer because it's also going to be uh, downloading uh, a version of Chromium. So this is probably a bit better. There we go, and that's a bit better. So let's run this again. Script. And actually, what we'll do is I'm gonna keep it open just so we can see the browser and see what the issue is. So run this. Uh, of course, we actually need to call script. Uh, let's just uh, do do do. Actually, I don't think we need to do anything after. Let's just call it like that. dot then console.log dot catch console.log let's log some issues and see what's going on puppeteer is not defined it's probably because I'm spelling it wrong all right let's get back into it headless cool so the good thing is we got a log which is fine um, but what we really want is the browser to open. Okay, cool. So this is now opening. That's what we want. We're now opening a, a, a browser. We open a new tab on Harry Max um, the video. So that's the this go to part. And then we. I'm just trying to evaluate here, um, which is obviously there. We go. So that's undefined, I guess, on the um, on the node side but you can see the log here. So that's working absolutely fine. Okay. So what we can do is we can do, so let's pop this out into a variable. Um, agree button. So we want to do that. And then what did we say? We want to find element uh, dot no, it's element dot uh, inner text uh, dot to lower case, and then we want to include uh, I agree. I think that's what we wanted, and then we basically want to click the button. So I think that should be fine. Agree button dot click. Uh, and actually we can just pop that in here dot click and the reason that's not liking it is because we need to await that as well so if i run this now and to be honest we can remove this guy so we just want to get a page new bro i think that just uses the same instance no it doesn't we need to open it every time so let's just run this so that should basically click there we go Perfect, that's exactly what we want. So that actually is gonna work fine. Um, now, the only thing I wanna have a quick look into 
which we don't really, I mean, this works absolutely fine, but I want to try, see if I can do this with the Puppeteer API instead of using the evaluate handle. Um, just because generally with the, I guess with the Puppeteer API, everything's just going to be a bit cleaner uh, instead of having to, to evaluate it on the browser. So ideally you could do it there. Um, maybe that's the issue I faced last time. I can't quite remember, but if I go to documentation, API documentation. So basically what I want to do is, let's see. Do we do, so we want the top tier pages. I think it's one of these guys, these basically these selectors. This method returns array. So this is exactly what that does. This method runs documents within a page and also it returns to zero. So let's try one of these actually. So let's try uh, test is equal to, I always forget the, the, the syntax. Um, this is a problem when you don't use the technology for a while, you forget how it works generally. So the selector is basically this. So I wonder, console.log test what that's going to bring so let's remove these guys and run that again so this brings back promise with element handle so nice well that's interesting oh of course we need to weigh that Okay, so that's brought back something, element handle, okay, which um, is good. So the question is how do I, how do I use that again? Let's look for some examples, page dot this so that's the feed handle and then we want to evaluate on that of course so I guess we need to eventually do handle I wonder though is if we can do things like click if that returns a handle yeah I think that makes sense so if I go to let's actually I'll bring this here the pop tier tutorial I'm just on the side. Um, this is just the one that I've done in the past. And the main thing here was that you could evaluate, page evaluate uh, this and then, hmm. I think I used evaluate there to get the text. So yeah, if you want the text, etc., I think you might need to do the evaluation. So I wonder if here you can then, what can I now do with test? Oh, or actually even better, if I use the other query and I console log test, and I'm just gonna put this to true for a moment, just while I do a few more tests. So I think with this, if this was returning like it said, a, um, it's basically wrapping it in array from, which is uh, exactly what I want. What that means is I can, so we've got array from doing this. I wonder if I can do test.find, is that gonna work? Uh, element. Or if I just do a test dot uh, map element dot, can I get the inner text? No. Element dot, uh, let's do evaluate. So let's have a look at an evaluate function. Uh, evaluate, is there an element dot evaluate? Do JS handle page dot evaluate. 
I just wonder what the evaluate is doing. Maybe it just takes in the element. Element. And then. And what is this taking in there? Function maybe? Page function. So let's try this. Let's see what that does. Let's see if that helps us. I'm just, I'm, I'll spend a few more minutes on this and then I'll fall back to the page evaluate, which is, you know, just the standard thing for the browser. I just want to see if there's a, uh, of course we need to await all these. So let's convert this to a, um, just a standard for loop. And we'll just uh, log this out. Yeah, so I think this is working now. So that's that's working fine. So I wonder now, I guess the question is, so we do need to await this. This is a bit of a problem. Hmm. Targets that find. Let's see. Page frames are find. There's only two finds there. Um, query selector all. Hmm. What do we say this returns here? So we could do page evaluate this. And text. Um, could do that. Well, we could add the selector. I think. Can you do uh, selector? I'm just wondering if you can do a selector on. Um, can you check the inner text? Inner text CSS selector. Can't remember if you can do something like this. Uh, Not with CSS directly, all right, okay. So that's fine. Pop tier, we can div. All right, okay, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it like this for now because I don't wanna spend too much time just uh, figuring things out because uh, I cannot remember the, the APIs, but I might come back to this. Um, for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep it in the evaluate handle. So I might just do everything here as if I'm in the browser. And as long as that returns what I need it to do, that's absolutely fine. So what we can do is I'm going to take the transcript scraper here and pop this out to the side so I can take what I need from it. But basically what we want is we want to get onto that page. So scrape, uh, let's call this into another function. And we'll call this uh, get transcript. And actually, no, we'll just keep it on here for now. So what we want to do is inside here, we want to get the button and click that. So we don't actually need to, we don't need to get that. We can just click that. Once we've clicked OK, I'm going to basically copy, I think I can just copy page.click. Uh, copy what I've done before. Now the issue with what I've done before is it's also within a, so we've got, we are, we are using some of the top level um, actions there. So I won't be able to do it all in here. I wonder though if I can return that. Actually, that's a, maybe that's the right way to do this. Okay, actually what I'll do is agree button is equal to, I wonder if this returns, return. Can you return this? Does it, I, th I believe that should return a, no. I thought that might return a um, uh, page evaluate. Or is it evaluate like that? If that returns the handle, or an element, sorry, you should be able to then click on it. 
No. Okay, so that's fine. What I'll do is I will keep it like this. I'm gonna click onto this here. Um, I'll keep that, and then I will come back to to this part. But this is basically just clicking the uh, clicking the terms and conditions, and then I shall do the rest of this, uh, which basically take me down to there. That's perfect. So let's take these guys. So now we've done this, we're clicking on, that's fine if it's duplicating. Um, I think here what we're gonna do is we might, we might just wanna wait for this as well, because it takes a second or so for uh, for this to show up. So let's do that there. So we're gonna wait for um, the more actions and then click it. And then we're going to click the open transcript uh, and load everything else. So we're just going to keep this all the same. And let's just double check that this YouTube video has transcripts or else we can't test uh, with this. So let's just see how that goes. So we jump into here and it is this here is the more actions button, open transcript. Okay, so we've got that. So that's fine. So once we've got that, YouTube link. Are we passing in a YouTube link here? Do we need it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do need it. So what I'll do is let's find out where that YouTube link's coming from. So that's getting passed in here. So we'll create a const uh, for the YouTube link at the top here. And we shall paste the YouTube link. There we go. Uh, so we want to go to the YouTube link. There we go. I think that should be fine. And I'm just going to run this and hope for the best. So this should just basically well, headless true. This should just return and I'll just log here console.log the transcript. I'll just log the transcript. Uh, and my hope is that it just kind of works. Um, and I've not run this in a while, so I might not. But yeah, let's see how that goes. No node found, of course. Cool. So I guess now we can open this and start uh, debugging. So let's not close this guy. Let's let's um, headless false and let's run that again. So now it'll just do the exact same. It will fail again, but it just won't close the browser. So now we can um, basically debug on the browser. Cool. So I'm gonna pop this to the bottom, let's pause this video. And the thing that we couldn't find was this here. So where is that? Oh, actually that's the transcript button. That's interesting. We sort of do need that. So let's look for the transcript button. So these things can, you know, anytime they change, basically update this page, this is how it, this is why it's kind of brittle anytime they change this page this can be affected so you need to try kind of find um, something that's quite uh, generic so I guess we'll start with the more actions button and this is so you can see here although I've got the info I, I might actually remove the info here so let's let's test a few things so we're basically looking for a button that has an area label of more actions and you can you can I guess the area labels are quite or somewhat reliable because if they want to be accessible then they should be using area labels um, and therefore we can we can basically use them so obviously with this we can find <laughs> three of them uh, let's let's see if we can oops let's see if we can find which one it is so 
we'll go to console. We'll do the first one. I wonder which one this is. Well, let's click on that one and see what that gives us. I wonder if I'm... Yeah, I guess I am just going for the first one. Ah, so you see that one's up here. More actions. So straight away we can see that that's the wrong one. Ah, maybe that's why I did the uh, info. Okay, cool. So let's try this again. So that brings us back one. And that's that one. Okay, so that works fine. So we can do that dot click. And here, I guess I'm just assuming there's going to be one. So that might break, but that's fine. Um, we're going to click onto this one. And then I guess the question here is what's going on with this guy? So again, this is under the... Um, it's not under info. I wonder why not. Let's see what's, where this is. So I'm looking at this. I think I did just see the items. So there's this items ID here. So let's look for. This. So that does not exist. So I guess if we right click on here, let's look for the button. Mm. Where's the button here? Is this whole thing a button? Is there a roll of menu item? Ah, it's an option here. Okay, so I guess this one here is what we're looking for. So we want to copy the selector. And let's just see if we can find it here. Let me zoom this in a bit and open this. So hopefully you guys can see. Well, I'm seeing. Yeah, so that's that. Items, and then you have the render and this item here. So is it just skipping the first one? What's going on? Let's go back to this. Where's the other option? Menu item. Iron selected. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I guess the idea here is I'm going to the items list box and then I should be going for the second child of that. Maybe I just or I find the child with the open transcript button. Maybe that's the way I should do this. So if I go to the items and I don't know if hmm, is there more than one? Oh, there is four. Uh, roll is equal to a list box. Uh, how do you do this again? Is it the roll that's equal to the list box? Uh, ah, list box is all maybe just like this. So that returns one. So maybe that's a re more reliable thing to do. And then. I look for the children. I basically do that. Uh, that's not gonna work, of course. So, ah, maybe direct children. So this, I think, is maybe a bit better. So this is basically saying, find the, yeah, the items ID, but make sure it's the, the one with the, that's a list box. And then from the direct children, basically go to the second child so that's this guy and then one two direct children second child click that I wonder if I can choose this click I think that's gen general generic enough it's probably as uh, as abstract as we want to go there I think this one before was a bit too brittle I think this one's okay so we do that and I think that should then be okay. So then we're waiting for 
bodies underscore we're basically waiting for this to load is, is what we want to do here uh, so let's open this up again what have I called this one here transcript body render and I think the, the problem with having those names is that they they can change so mm, transcript transcript body render mm, so we have this div ID of body which is a bit a bit sus because there's for sure going to be more than one body I reckon let's have a quick look into that body no nope, this one just the one body but can we trust that ID uh, I guess I'll keep it in for now that's fine let's rerun this guy we'll keep that in for now and uh, yeah we'll see how that goes so Oh, well, now I didn't find the, uh, this. That's interesting. Hmm. I thought that did exist. Go back to console. Document.cree selector. Ooh, that's null now. Um, why is that null? Did that not just work a moment ago? Did I copy that down wrong? Let's have a quick look. So, uh, we're gonna click this, we're gonna jump over here, bring this up a bit. We definitely have the items of row list box, and it has two children. Um, what have I done wrong here? Ah, of course, um, I need to click the first button. Do I need to wait for that then? Maybe I need to wait for that. So, no node found for that selector. So maybe I... Is there a wait then? Seems a bit annoying to... It's a weird one because I mean you'd think that this you'd just be able to find this because it's on the page. Um, I just wonder if that completely disappears or let's have a look at it. So when I do that, see it's still there. I'm not sure why it's not being found. But let's let's wait for it. Maybe that will that will help. And I'm waiting for the more actions button. Yeah, we're clicking that. So let's try this. Oh, I don't want to debug. Let's just play that again. I should probably close the instances of uh, Chromium. I'm probably gonna let's just. Yeah, we're fine. So I think this is actually waiting a bit too long now. I don't know if it's default timeout, so it just feels like it's waiting for something that does not exist. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so that's, wow, 30 seconds. Okay, um, definitely don't need that to be 30 seconds. I wonder if I can change that somewhere up top here. Timeout. Yeah, let's do something like three seconds. Um, so I'm still not finding this guy, which is strange because 
Uh, in fact, it didn't. I just noticed this wasn't clicked. So maybe the, the the issue with this is that. Yeah, maybe the issue with that is it's not it's not clicked yet. So let's do again. Uh, document dot query selector. So that's no, that's fine. Let's see why this isn't being clipped. So let's basically mm, comment everything else out and just try to get this bit working here. So I'm just going to try to evaluate this. Uh, sorry, this guy here. And just see if that comes back with anything. So let's try play that. So for some reason that's not being played. I'm not quite sure why. Ooh. I forget to await this. The feedback loop is not the quickest when you're opening and closing browsers. I guess I could just use the same browser and attach to that, but uh, actually I wonder if I can do that. Puppeteer dot. Hmm. Ah, I can't quite remember. That's fine. So it's definitely finding it. Am I just not clicking on that or what's going on here? It's finding the button, but it's not clicking it. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Let me try do the exact same on the browser. And then I will fall back to the classic uh, evaluate handle. Although that shouldn't really make a difference because everything that we're, we're doing with Puppeteer gets done on the browser anyways. But for some reason, sometimes, so that's not working. It is getting the element handle, but it's not clicking, or it is clicking, but it's not. Um, so I wonder if we should. Uh, hmm. Let me try basically do the exact same but in the browser and see if that is, is going to make a difference so let me copy and paste this and see if that opens it oops some reason that works. So what I'm going to do, because I don't know if I could do a wait for, um, yeah, I'm just going to do everything in evaluate handle for now, uh, just to get this done. And then, yeah, I may come back and update it at some point. Can't remember the difference between evaluate handle and evaluate. Evaluate handle. Uh, is that the value handle returns? Ah, okay, so we don't need to return there. Okay, cool. So, that's fine. And then let's get to the next part. So, let's just run this. So that works. There's definitely something I'm missing here, but that's okay. And the final bit is, let's do all this, but right here. I guess if we can get here, then this is probably a good, good place to be. So now we're getting the transcript and that's all coming through fine. Uh, 
there we go so we can see here that that's gone in and that's yeah picked up all the uh the transcripts and i've got them all printed out here that's perfect so okay so that's now working so what we want to do is the console so we're logging that we want to disconnect and then what we want to do is basically return right now it's going to say return the transcript which is i think fine so let's take this function here uh, and let's just uh, do, do, do we'll jump into here we're going to add it over here so i'm going to jump down scrape transcripts well let's add it below here this is, needs to be an async function, that's fine. Duplicate, that's fine. And the only other thing is I need to import property. Okay, so that's fine. So scrape here needs to take in an ID. Let's think about this. So what we're gonna do is when we scrape transcripts at this point, so we're, we're now back to the high level. We've, let's assume we've gotten the videos, then transcripts await script transcripts so we jump into here and what that needs to do is it needs to go through each video of each id go to the video get the transcripts and i guess this is going to return an object the object being keyed by id so it will be um some id and then it will be the transcripts themselves okay Oh, the transcripts is, I guess it's a list of transcripts, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, list of transcripts. And to be honest, I think that's all we need. All right, okay, so let's... Um, and then once we're storing it in the database, we're going to use the ID. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so... Scrape transcript. We've got the new videos. These are actually new video IDs. Uh, no. New video IDs. Ooh. I should rename all these to new video IDs. Um, so for each, hmm. all right, new video IDs. We want to. This is actually. I think I've done something similar here. quite yeah so what I'll do is I will create a map here um, transcripts and then for each video ID what we want to do is we want to um, await scrape and pass in the ID and then we want to transcripts dot uh, push. Let me think about this a second. Well, actually, I could just do this. Uh, transcripts ID is equal to transcript. I think that's enough. And then of course we can inline that. Hmm. And return transcripts. Yeah, I think that's fine. Hey Kishali, how's it going? So I think this will do. Um, of course, I've passed in the ID here. The YouTube link now I need to update uh, to take in the ID here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this ID for a moment and just um, duplicate that and just assume that this returns that ID that's fine transcripts we have the ID I'll take away this I'll take away the options here so that just means headless is excuse me got a bit of a hiccup headless is on by default 
So we don't actually want to, hmm, this is interesting. We don't want to open up a new script fast. We don't want to, we want to do this browser above here. We don't want to open up a new browser for every, you know, every time we script, we want to, we want to open up and we don't even really want to open up a new page. We can open up one page. We can scrape, pass in the page. And then just use, yeah, basically, basically use the, the one tab. Um, so we can close everything after. After everything here. So let's space this out a bit. So new browser, new page. When we're scraping each page, we're going to go to the new link. We need to take in a page here. That's fine. Go to YouTube link. The YouTube link is going to be that with the ID. I'm going to wait. Click on the I agree. So this is actually interesting. This will help. I think this one will only happen once. And I wonder what happens is if what I might do here is I'm going to reduce the wait time uh, timeout oops timeout to maybe five seconds uh, we'll do three uh, we'll do one second because actually it should be quite quick what we're going to do here is On the first time this is going to come up but once you've agreed to it it won't come up again so we only want to agree to this once so i'm just thinking if i maybe want to get this out of the way sooner if i for example up here just want to say okay when you do this you know uh agreed to terms i'm passing the page here i'll wait Agree to terms. Yeah, something like this might be a good idea. So we create this function. And all this does is that, yeah. So this basically will come in, click the agree button, and that's it. I don't, I don't think we need to do that again. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. After it agrees to the terms, we're going to scrape, scrape comes in, we've got the page, we've got the ID, using the page here, that's all fine. Use the ID, okay, cool. So let's see how this goes. Um, this returns, and then we'll just, what we'll do is we'll console.log transcript here. Or actually, we'll just return, I return transcripts? Let's see if I can return that. Now, let me run do, do functions here. And I think we should be good. So it's going to take the ID, scrape. Don't, I don't think I've got an implementation there. And then it should just return that. So let's pop this back to the side. Let's jump over here. And that's going to be on localhost. Well, I think we're going to get the link actually. Scrape new videos. I think I should click on it. There we go. Of course, that doesn't work. Um, cannot read properties undefined of reading click. That's not good. So let's see. Hmm. It's not going to like the puppeteer within within the function. Hmm. Let's see the bigger error here. Hmm. Time me on. Cool. I think I'll spend a few more minutes on this. Hopefully I can get somewhere. If not, I might just uh, 
I'm gonna end the stream soon and sort this out later. So evaluation failed, Tever click that no it of course it's not liking the page evaluates. Oh of course I need to actually go to oh I need to go to youtube.com. Um so if I open up Chromium or in fact if I just if I open up YouTube I just wonder if I go to YouTube and wait for yeah okay so of course I need to actually go to YouTube um, it's usually a good idea to do so I will go to youtube.com wait until there we go I think I think that should be a bit better youtube.com let's clear this and let's try refresh it may take a few seconds of course because it's bringing up uh, an instance of chromium but uh timeout navigation timeout of 100 thousand so oof. this may be an issue interesting can we increase the timeout of a function? Um, Firestore Cloud. Well, let's just pop in this area. I'm sure that there's plenty of people that have uh, fire base function. Plenty of people that have hit this area. Or is that a puppeteer thing? Oh, it's a puppeteer thing. Okay, I thought it was a Firestore thing. All right, what am I missing here? One second. Ah, of course. Ugh. So I put it at one second here. And I, in fact, I can take this out now because because I'm no longer waiting for. Yeah, let me take this out. 30 seconds is probably too long. I don't know what the default, you know, Firestore, if it's got any timeouts. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it at, well, let's just add one just in case. Mm, let's do 10 seconds for now. And we'll rerun that. And this 10 second is, is actually just for each kind of evaluation. I don't think it's for the whole thing. So I think 10 seconds should be plenty. All right, we're getting somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. I think it did not like my return. Uh, Jason, this and Jason dot, oh, send. I can't remember how to, uh, I think it's send transcripts. Oh, I'm doing some funky stuff here. Status <laughs> 204 and send body. Let's try that again. Um, Although that one exceeded 10 milliseconds. That's interesting. Let's remove that for next time and see how that goes. It's taking its time here. So let's just hard refresh this now that this is loaded and just so we can see how long this request is going to take yeah so that's timed out again um, it's actually timed out waiting for the 
Oh. Maybe that was the first request that timed out. No, maybe not. Hey, so we got something back. That's good. I'm not sure where the timeout came from. 30 milliseconds, 30,000, 30 seconds exceeded. And yet, here's the data. Mm. Yeah, it definitely must have been one of the two functions. Okay, anyways, so we've got we've got a response. That's good. Here we go. Let's go. So this is exactly what we need. Um, how many items does this have? 379 items. It goes all the way down to, let's see, it goes down to 14 minutes 35. It's got the link here. 14 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. So I guess the final thing here, and I will do this either off stream or in the next stream, but I think we've done the majority of the work here. So still need to figure out the, the reason that's timing out because I'm not, I'm not too, I'm a bit concerned about that, but that's fine. Um, we can figure out the main thing here is basically we've got this working. So the next thing is the transcript here. And this won't be, it's basically we want to store this in the DB, store it in the database and send it to Elasticsearch. Maybe that could be the focus of the next stream actually. And that won't be too hard. So I already did a migrate. I mean, we could just use fire. I mean, it's just simple fire store. We're batching. We're just storing it in a collection. Um, it would literally be something that it will be exactly this. We're going to go over all the, all the IDs. And then we need to go into the, the transcripts themselves and sort them as documents. So it will be probably videos, doc id and then there'll be a collection of um you know transcripts and then doc and that will be the document the actual each uh did i just close that yeah each actual um transcript or each piece of the transcript and then we can set the i guess we can set the uh true on the on the top level one and I think that'll be fine. Yeah, okay, cool. So I think that's fine. These will be each of the documents, yeah. And then we basically send all this to, this is the right format, we send it all to Elastic and that will be, then we'll be good to go. So I don't think that'll be too much work. Um, so the only slight concern for me, I guess, is this timing out. But I mean, what we can do is if it does time out and if it fails, then we'll just mark it as failed. Um, and either we we do you know maybe a few retries so you can just automatically say like let's try you know two or three times or yeah we just mark it as failed for now put it to the side and I'll, I'll come back and have a look at the ones that do fail at some point or every now and again um and yeah i think that's that's probably a good place to to stop so i will leave it at this i'm going to keep this all as is and in the next stream next time i do this the final piece hopefully Actually, probably won't be. It'll be the, the second last one because I will hit into some errors that I, I can't figure out, in which case I'll probably respond to it to one more. So, but in the next stream, what we'll do is we've got these two working. Um, yeah, we'll just basically focus on, let's just save them and send them to Elasticsearch and then that should be it. So that shouldn't be too much work. And then we'll have a quick look into that timeout and just see what's what's going on. And if it's uh, if there's anything we can do about that. Um, and in the meantime, in the background, I'll try to fix up some of those uh, evaluate handles uh, at some point. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call it there. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll have a think about this. Uh, I had some technical difficulties at the start of this YouTube stream. I started one, and then it, it I think it broke off. So I think I've, I've done two streams technically. So I'll try to figure that one out. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for for tuning in, everyone, and uh, I shall see you guys soon. Take care.